Steve McLaren, interested? What's he up to? <laughs> Moving smoothly into the Steve McLaren section. Him and the fat lass. And they, oh, they went to Malaga a couple of days back. <laughs> right. For holidays, yeah. She's got like a big, massive suitcase. It's mainly full of like creams and ointments, you know, for all her nooks and crannies and folds and that. Yeah, keep them, keep them, you know, moist. Keep them moist, lubricate, free from bacteria and that and everything. Yeah. He just has a little roll, you know, a little one, he pull a little trolley one. And he yeah. just, what he does is, this, this is typical Steve. He just takes a fresh four pack BHS short sleeve comfort fit shirts, yeah? Yeah. Um, some brown evenings slacks and his CSI Miami trunks. You know what? I think I know where he gets his ethos from. Where's that? It's that scene with Robert De Niro and Al Pacino in Heat. Where De Niro says, I never let myself get in a situation I can't get out of in 10 minutes. Exactly. And yeah. McLaren's the same. He travels light and he doesn't yeah. fuck about. When I think, yeah, I think of Heat, I think of Born Identity, I think of McLaren. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Anyway, so they're going away and Steve has to give his snake, Casper, a nice big feed, you know, so to last him for the week. So he lobs a rabbit into the snake's room so for it to hunt and kill, you know. It's got its own room. <laughs> well, the room that the snake's staying in during the, for the holiday, you know. Is it usually in a tank then, or is it just room free? No, as far as... as far house as, snake. As far as, yes, you could call it a house snake, a yellow house snake. So, But it's con- confined to a room while they're in Malaga. Yeah, yeah. Probably for the best. I think so. So he yeah, hates leaving it. So, you know, he's like sucking the shit out of his vape. At least. <laughs> he's fretting, you know what I mean? And the fat lass says, do you know, you know what, Steve... I sometimes think you care more about that snake than me. And Steve, hey Andy, Steve says nothing. Nothing. Oh, just oh, don't that's say the wrong thing to do. Nothing. Idiot. So taxi comes to take to um take him to South End Airport. So Steve, they're just about to get in the taxi, Steve. Steve says, You get in love. I'll just get the last case and say a little last goodbye to Casper the, and just leaves the fat lass in the car. Right? Goes in, does that. Taxi tips to the airport. They're going through security, right? Just as they put the cases through, they're like, you know the security thing, you know, the thing where it goes through a conveyor? Yeah. Yeah. Steve starts singing his favourite song, you know. We got a brand new convoy travelling through the night. So come on, join our convoy. All the other convoys are shite. <laughs> Steve's convoy. And of course, because it's Steve McLaren, ex-England manager and all that, the security people aren't really looking. They're watching and they all clap him, take photos and everything. Yeah. So, Which he loves. Oh, he, he, he does love it, yeah. So, Buzzes off it. <laughs> they're in the boarding lounge, right? And a fat lass has a magnum. Steve has a little tracker bar she bought for him at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Tap on his shoulder, Andy. It's an armed cop. Oh. Yeah. Come with me, Stephen, and bring your case. <laughs> And then he puts his hand up. No, not you, fat lass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm laughing, but it's serious. This is armed copper. So they go into the uh, interrogation room, put the case on the desk. Interrogation officer opens it. Who's in there, Andy? Oh, it's not the snake, is it? It's not Casper. Casper's in there. <laughs> Steve. The case. Steve. Steve would try to sneak him through, thinking his singing would divert the people looking at the x ray. <sighs> Idiot. Fucking idiot, isn't he? So as soon as the like, fresh air hits Casper, his, ne- <laughs> his neck starts to swell and swell, and it balloons up really big. Something trapped in there. Bang! Out flies a wet, half-gurgitated rabbit, followed by a big like block of rabbit, rabbit todd, and then a stream of sick. It covers the officer and his weapons. It's a oh, t- no. terrible scene. Steve had to pay for airport quarantine. Airport vet, cleaning of the copper and his weapons, nearly and 1,500 quid in total. Jesus. How much did the holiday cost? God knows, but they missed the, they missed the plane. It's only South End Airport. The next one, they, they got a uh, plane to Barcelona. I had to take a bus from there. I reckon the holiday cost something like 900 quid. Yeah. And that it's is, outside of the school holidays, so it'll be cheaper. It's so, I mean, in some ways, it's a lovely story because he just didn't want to be without Casper, but... Yeah. Stupid, isn't it? Stupid Steve. He should have done his research there, like. 